Hello friends, today we will be discussing what are the value objects in domain driven design, what value they do give. Entity objects are the objects which has some ID, some unique identifier so that we can identify those objects, their state need to be tracked, saved and uh, <clears throat> for example account balance. We have to make sure whenever you withdraw some money or deposit some money in your account we have to make sure right account balance is being updated right account balance is debited or credited entity objects can ha have a lot of overhead on the system you would there could be a situation where you have to maintain a lot of entity objects that can put a lot of strain on your system on the memory on the effort to track each entity object. So there comes a value objects. What are value objects? Eric in his domain driven design book, he gives a nice example of color markers. When a kid is drawing, as long the color marker is yellow and has certain weight, he doesn't care which color marker he's using. All he care that he can draw yellow color using this marker. So when he and his sister are putting their paintings on the fridge, yes, each painting has uh, some information, some identity. This painting belongs to whom? Does this painting belongs to him or his sister? But imagine if he has to keep track of all the color markers used in the painting. Which color marker I used for this yellow in this painting and which color marker I used for yellow color in this painting. It would be very, very hard. So value objects are the representations in our system in, in which we just care what they do. We don't care who they are and which they are. In short, they have no identity. Let me give you a real life example of value objects database connection pools when we are connecting to the database it will be very inefficient that for every query you are opening a connection to the database and then closing a connection to the database and there are certain number of database connections you just cannot keep a connection open uh, so if you are you are running thousand queries in one minute and there are only 100 connections it would be not wise to uh, pre either keep a connection open or you have every time you close and open a new connection so there comes connection pool if you come from c sharp and you have you worked, uh, worked if you if you are come from c sharp area so here comes a connection pool so what uh, audio.net or uh, uh, does it it creates a connection pool for you uh, there's an, a number of connection pools. There are a number of connection objects in the pool. So when you make a query, you say open connection, it keeps connection from the pool. So you don't have to create it. And when you're done submitting your queries to the database, you close the connection and it puts the connection back to the connection pool. One interesting thing Eric says in his domain driven design is that value objects are immutable you cannot change the state you can it should be easily replaceable by another value object you are you are using connection object from the pool you should not change something that it becomes a different connection from rest of the pool so suppose next time uh, next time you need a connection you just get a new copy of the value object and you use it without any problem so connection objects, so value objects are immutable. Again, a value object, we care in from the connection pool example, we care what they do. They help us to connect to the database, submit our queries, get the results, update some records. We don't care which connection pool did, which, uh, which connection pool did the service for us. Another interesting fact is that value objects can have reference to other entity object. Suppose you are uh, you are using some map for travel. 
in the map you come up with a route and in the route will give you a highway you may be using highway 66 and you may be going to the three destinations so this highway is entity object and you may be going to california to a particular address <clears throat> that is again entity object so a value object can have reference to entity objects another ex example gives is uh, address is a address is a example of value object or entity object so it depends upon the context suppose you are living in a hostel and sharing room with multiple people and you are placing an or online order on amazon.com and your partner uses same address to get the order in this case order is in this in this case address is a value object if some letter has to be sent to some address address should be unique in that case address becomes an entity object so it depends upon the context whether address is value object or entity object so friends today we discuss what are value objects value objects don't have any identity they are immutable they should be easily replaced with other object value objects we just care what they do we don't care which object did the service for us so friends if you like this video like it share it and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates also connect with me on linkedin and twitter especially linkedin if you like small summaries of the video i will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on linkedin thanks again